All right, Rance, give us the Ritz report, I guess, after the past two days. Let's start in Boston. Yeah. What was your perspective on, uh, let's start with Yard, the American record fall. Yeah, we, that's, that's what you call starting off the bang. I mean, uh, I kind of, everybody knew that Yard was ready for something really good. Uh, the 728 is, like, super special, and so, um, I mean, he's just, it's crazy because you, you wouldn't know it sometimes. Like, the guy is, uh, he's the, He's sometimes he's kind of one of the coolest guys ever. Like you're just like, is that guy really that that good at all these things? And we're like, but he's just an awesome dude. And uh, but we just watching the training, and everybody's like, I, I I told a few people I was like, Yard's gonna do something special now. And I, I didn't think that he would close like that and run that, but uh, I thought 30 to 32 was gonna be maybe what he would run. But uh, yeah, he was amazing. And so so yeah, that set it off the big time. And, and Mario ran great. I mean he. He felt like he kind of fell asleep and detached a little bit, but it was a big PB for him. And for him, it's like he's definitely coming from a little bit more like an 815 background, so it's a huge jump for him. Like, man, I'm, I'm really proud of how he ran because, uh, yeah, that, that's a For him, he already ran 730, came off this, or 330 last year, came off this magical season. But, like, he's definitely showed a huge growth and strength that I think is going to play off big time in the summer. Because, uh, like, my goal for him is if he can be consistently at where he was at the end of the year, that's, that's like, a huge step. I mean, like, he, he made that meteoric rise last year, and he can't do that all the time. So, like, let's just get, let's get better so that we can be stronger all through the summer and do this every time you step out. And he's, he's on his track for that. So. And then, yeah, the 5K, I mean, Joe just went to the well. It was incredible. Um, I told him, as soon as Ollie's gone, it's just you guys just got to go. You got to bring it down a notch and just keep cranking, and he did that. And he went all the way to the point where, yeah, never seen Joe do, go that far before, so it was pretty cool to see. Why, why couldn't Ollie make it 4K? <laughs> I, I honestly, um, the one thing that I was a little disappointed is that it was too fast. Um, and not for Ollie necessarily, but, like, Ali started getting worried because there was a clip in happening behind him. He didn't really know what was going on, from, you know. Like, but Joe, it was Joe was just hanging out for dear life because it's so fast, you know, at that point. And um, I think the pace got set a little too quick, and then when he was just on that pace, you don't slow it down then, and it kind of unfortunately blew up the rest of the race for everybody else behind Woody and Joe. And so, uh, so that was the one thing I was a little disappointed for, like Jonas and, and George, because I know that they were pretty fit and then it race where they closed well, I think that they would run, I think Jonas would have run close to 13 minutes, and I think uh, Jonas, or George would have run under 13.07 was the goal, but unfortunately that pace, I mean 7.47 is too fast for everybody else in that, and so um, so that was the one thing that I was a little disappointed with. But. Seeing Joe in the last like 600, I don't think I've ever seen him like labor as much as he did last night. I mean, yeah. do you see that regularly, I guess, when he pushes himself in practice? No, or? no, no, he's not, uh, I mean, he will push himself hard, but like, that was this was one of those ones where he was he just dialed in you could tell he was going to go to that place and um and he's been talking about it since last year when he paced the guys all i, all I want to do is go and run super fast and so um yeah like he told me afterwards he's like he's like i, I honestly like he's like i'm happy for woody like i don't even care like at that point he's like i just was happy i made the finish line he's like i wanted that one bad and so he was happy with how hard he went and that and so what more can you ask for an athlete for an athlete like that i guess like that mental shift like he's won in sub 13 for a while now he checks that box he can now just focus on placing and winning and just doing his best in these races yeah i think uh you know, he wants to come to melrose and just compete and then go to the 10k and we do have things we got to do at the 10k i mean for sure but i mean he showed last night he's capable of it so I want, to, I want to see him run under 27 minutes, and uh, I think he can definitely go under 27 now, and So, and he should know that too after that performance, and then if we do that, we have a lot of time then before the U.S. champs, we'll, we'll do some races, some Diamond League stuff where he can just take some risks, things like that. Um, that's the nice thing, if you run something big like that, you can take some risks, and you can say, hey, I, I'll try to go out in 742 or whatever, 745 in this Diamond League race, you know, and not worry about it. Sorry, women's side, come in. How'd you get out of here so quick? Was it, you, you flew in? Drove? Private jet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, on money. <laughs> yeah. 540 flight from uh, Boston to here, and I got to, went to the hotel, but uh, I mean, I wasn't going to sleep much anyway, so it, it was uh, it was an easy flight, got down for the girls, and uh, yeah, we, you know, like Alicia, this was really just kind of a race to do, get some, I don't know, say get training in, but like, uh, yeah, we wanted to get a fast race and let her... Uh, 
let her come back and pace basically at 10k pace and it was a good way to get work in we couldn't get on the cu track this weekend anyway so it's like let's come here and do that and then just said he had a little just said he had like a little bit of a tight hamstring on wednesday i was like let's just come and see if it's tight at all like uh, we're just not gonna run and she was like uh, i think it'll be all right but i was like nah, we're just, we'll just wait until melrose and so so she so we were just like let, she warmed up and i was like let's just wait until melrose and then uh Sint uh, got detached a little bit in that race, being so fast out. Uh, but she still broke the Italian national record for the mile indoors. So, uh, so that was another one for the weekend. So, uh, and and I think for her and Sage both, we haven't done any really hard efforts like we did when we filmed the mile with you guys. Like we haven't done it like sustained hard efforts. And so, this is going to go a long way for Melrose for that. I think. Yeah. Well, so the other thing too is just we asked. Uh, Alicia, like, what does that workout that everyone was talking about this week convert to in an actual mile? And she was like, I mean, pretty much close to this. What do you think? No, it was better than what she ran here because she had Robbie pacing. I mean, she, she did have Robbie pacing her for 1,200 meters, but, like, she did that, you know, like, I mean, like, oh, I mean, today it was better, like, because not that it was easier to do, but like she actually, it was out hard, which is not like at least she's a 10k, 5k, 10k runner. Like for her to go out in 63, it's it's gonna make it harder. But then she had to hold off people, just grind from the front, and so the time is probably pretty equal. But I think it's harder to do that than it is for her to, to go and run. Although she looked pretty fresh afterwards, honestly. Like she did look pretty tired after the mile when we did it because she had run like 91 miles. Like it was the end of the week, and I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah, time to come. We need to at least take it. She's like, I don't want to bring my week down too much. I was like, we can afford like a couple of days here. Should, you know? But yeah, she, she was great. So, but then yeah, like Sage, Sage and, uh, um, having, uh, having Ajay come in like last minute was actually good. I think, uh, it's a hard record. I mean, it's 19 year old record for a reason. Like just, maybe they don't run it often, but it's also like, it's, it's still hard to come out and do an effort like that. Someone like Sage just gets better each race at like 800s and stuff. So like, she's like, she walked away, she's like, I feel fine, you know, like, she's fine. Like, she could probably go race again right now, you know, but you know, she's been running 70 miles a week. Like, she, we've really gone in on the strength for her to, like, nah, I don't, I think we stay in the 800 for now, but like, uh, eventually, she ran 401 solo last year. So like, we're gonna keep working on that. And so, uh, I think we're, 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 uh, we've done a lot more of that this year than we did last year. Do you think she takes anything away from this, like just being that close to Ajay? To, like she's raced her enough times, it's like, all right, I gotta learn how to crack her. Well, I think for her, you know, she she probably it's good to have that check mark. So we don't, you don't, if we haven't done anything in practice like the others to so know, then you, hey, if you're right there, I mean that's that's Ajay, you know, and so. She, she, I think she'll feel good going into Melrose now. Like, I mean, Laura Muir will be in there. Uh, just, uh, I mean, you got a lot of people in there. It's, that feels sick, so it'll be good for her uh, like, to have done this and know, all right, I'm fit. Just got to trust it and go. Are you going out to Madrid, too, with the team? Probably not. I, I, uh, I'll probably go down to Australia. I don't know. Maybe. I, I might. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Probably not. But I, I hate to miss... Like, I think that those guys have a chance at breaking the 1500 records. So I'd hate, I just would hate to miss anything, but I also have to be conscious of everything home and here and flying everywhere all year. So we'll see. Well, so Yaren in the video when we came out and filmed is like, yeah, I mean, the American record would be nice. He's the most chill when it comes to like talking about records. He's the most chill when it comes to everything. Yeah, so uh, Milrose, I mean, the potential for Spanish, Australian, American record? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, kind of bonkers like uh those three guys are i don't know if three 1500 meter runners probably that good at training i mean i'm sure there are in you know in kenya there's a groups like that but like that's a good group of guys right there so um, yeah i'm i'm really excited for that race i mean the, the, all the races are stacked i mean that's the reason why we come to milrose it's the biggest indoor track meet of the year in my opinion if there's not a world indoors. I mean, the atmosphere in the armory is electric, and we want to be a part of that. We want them to race against a good field. And what happened last year, those races just, it wasn't, I mean, yeah, they ran fast, but they were awesome races, and we're looking forward to that again here in two weeks. Awesome. Appreciate it, Nathan. You got it.